but what's happening in India is extremely unique, extremely unique. FIDE Canada's tournament will be held in April 2024 in Canada, leading up to all this, the leading up to this all important event that will determine the World Championship challenger. The AICF has announced a financial assistance to Vidit, Gujarati, R. Pragnananta, and R. Vaishali to the tune of rupees two crore, uh, two hundred forty thousand four fifty nine. This amount will be divided between the three of them and will be used for their training, travel, building a team, and much more. It is truly a fantastic move by the National Federation to support the candidates of India. Okay, so first things first, uh, obviously a big shout out goes to Vishyanand because all of this is because of his great accomplishments. But more importantly, um, it's great to see National Federation supporting their players in some countries not known as the United States of America. Um, I, I actually would tell you guys that in my entire career, from the United States Chess Federation, I probably have not received more than maybe $100,000, if that. And I've, I've been playing chess at the top, I would say like 2650, 2700 level for at least a good 15 years. Um, so yeah, so so that's the, that's the first things first. things first. Um, and obviously this is why I had to make the draw in the last round because $1,000 would go a long way towards funding my candidates preparation because obviously all these guys are getting 80K and um, that's, that's, that's a big ask for most of us. So I didn't say the USA is the only country that doesn't support chess players. Obviously I'm well aware of that, but anyway, okay. Um, the All India Chess Federation is embarking on a historic journey to propel Indian chess to unprecedented heights. Over the past three years, the Indian chess landscape has undergone a massive reform, evident, evident in its epitome of successes on all fronts. From over-the-board play to the seamless organization of tournaments, the recent successful hosting of the Chess Olympiad at Chennai made history, further solidifying India's presence on the world stage. A handful of Indian players inspired by the legacy of the legendary Vishyanand are carrying the torch forward, contributing to the nation's rise in the nation's rising prominence in international chess. Uh, Va Vaishali is a candidate in the women's, she's playing in the women's candidates tournament, which will be held at the same time as the men. So that's why they're all, um, they're all, uh, they're, they, they all are getting about $80,000. That's what they're doing. Why don't I live in India? Very funny, you guys. But again, I cannot, I can only reiterate, re reiterate it so many times. Um, but this is all because of Vishyanand and what he has done and how he's transformed the landscape with his legendary career over the past what like 30 30 35 40 years i don't even know how long it's been but um but obviously his great great contribution so okay in a strategic move the federation has committed rupees two crore two hundred forty thousand four fifty nine of financial assistance for pragnananta vita gujarati and arvai shali as they prepare for upcoming chess events marking a historic chapter in indian chess President Sanjay Kapoor, speaking on behalf of the AICF, stated, We recognize the immense potential of Pragnananta, Vidit, and Vaishali to make history in the world of chess. Our financial backing is a strategic move to empower these exceptional players and ensure they have the support they need to chase victory and etch their names in the annals of chess greatness. Um, he said, isn't this 80K more than the prize for the women's championship? It might be more money than first prize in the women's candidates. I don't know, but it's probably very close. Um, thank you so much to Bortnik Chess for the raid with 138. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So very, 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 um, very, very impressive. Did the U.S. Chess Federation do anything for you and Fabi? No. As I said, you guys, the only money that I've ever received, I believe, from the U.S. Chess Federation has been in relation to the Olympiads, the World Team Championship, which I played in Bursa many years ago. Um, and I also got the Sam for Fellowship some years back, but I think that was a separate offshoot that wasn't the Federation directly. So I essentially have only ever received um, support for the Olympiad and for the world team championship that's all the money that i have ever received from the u.s chess federation literally that's all i received which is also why i would say it's so so critical um in terms of what rex singfield has done for chess in the u.s because before rex was around they're literally the first prize in the u.s championship was maybe twenty five thousand dollars if that um and there was no support from the national federation so um it's simply it's simply a, a very very different world in india i guess is what i would say so um yeah, 100K in 15 years for a five-time champ is insane. It's probably less, honestly. If, if I don't talk about the Sanford Fellowship, I honestly would bet between the Olympiads and the World Team Championship, I've gotten less than $50,000. Um, and that's like in 20 years of playing. I, I'm being serious. Like, as, as, a, as a pro from the time I was probably like 17, 18 to now, I've probably gotten like $50,000 in 17 years. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, let, let's just say it's not... Um, it's quite different. Let's let's put, that's that. Yeah, I've, I've made about I made about as much money from the U.S. Chess Federation as I have from winning 50 title Tuesdays. Exactly, exactly. You guys, right? Good one. 
Good one. Yep. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Okay. So as we keep going, it says the financial assistance will cover training camps, coaching fees, travel expenses, and logistic requirements it aims to provide the players with the resource required to focus entirely on their game. The move comes in the wake of their recent successes, including Pragnanta's runner up finish at the world cup and the double delight at the FIDE grand Swiss 2023, where Vita and Vaishali clinched both the open and women's titles respectively. Commenting um, on the initiative, Bharat Chauhan, chairman of the FIDE Advisory Board, stated AICF's commitment to supporting and nurturing chess talents is commendable. The bold initiative will undoubtedly contribute to the growth and development of Indian chess on the global stage. The reforms of the Indian chess landscape are not only evident in their over-the-board success, but also in the effective organization of tournaments, putting India at the forefront of the international chess community. Each player will receive rupees 30, 30 lakhs for training and getting a coach. The rest of the money will be used for the players for a second to travel, mental training, mental trainer, and all other expenses, food, etc. So again, very, very impressive. Eighty thousand dollars is what they're all getting. I mean, it's just in incredible stuff. Um, it says a wonderful gesture by the National Federation that is sure to give a mass boost to the Kansas preparation. Um, of all three Indian gems, the Edith Prash, Prague, and by Shali. So, looking ahead, the AICF announced the hosting of five international Grandmaster Chess tournaments in the next two months. The initiative aims to provide opportunities for the next generation of players to earn international title norms, con contributing to the overall development of chess in India. So, very, very good stuff. Speaking of chess based India, Prague and Vaishali mentioned big thanks to all India Chess Federation for such a big support to all three of us in such a short period. The FIDE Grand Swiss was over a few days ago, and we are all here in Delhi today. This helps for both of us to plan our training sessions. Grateful to AICF for their support. Okay, beat it. Uh, talking to Chess Base India, beat it said, I hadn't even come back from the Grand Swiss and was in fact commuting to Nasik when I got the call from Bharat Uncle and he told me that they're going to extend financial support for us in the candidates. I really appreciate this gesture. It shows that they are so keenly looking out for us. Now I can see the ball rolling and start building my team. Um, Vaishali won the women's uh the women's event in the Grand Swiss and Vidit won the men's. Uncle is a like an Indian thing. Like I I, I actually am very familiar with it from my stepfather being Sri Lankan. Like it's just like an endearing thing you say. You say like uncle. Um like I I I I have heard it quite a few times like with, with my stepfather where someone sees him, they're like they say uncle, even though uncle doesn't literally mean uncle. So Anyway, though, very, um, very, very, very good stuff. Obviously, it's incredible to see the support they're getting. Eighty thousand dollars is an incredible amount of money to, um, to to support them for the candidates. And honestly, it's just, um, it's real, it's really, really good to see. It also, it also shows um, that what's happening in India is extremely unique, extremely unique, um, because like. Even for me, like over the years when I played in the um, when I when I played like in the candidates, so it's like trying to cobble together little bits and pieces here. Uh, to you know, generally private sponsorship is what I would say um, of little little bits and pieces. And I've never had a budget like that even for the candidates, like 80k. So it's um it's really really good for them. It also shows that like other places need to step up. For example, you look at the U.S. The U.S. has two players who are playing in the uh, playing in the candidates. Hint hint. Um, and hopefully they will get some support as well. So. Very, very good stuff. Um, and that's, yeah, it's just incredible. Does the U.S. Chess Federation lack money? I mean, of course they do lack money. I think the U.S., um, I, what I would say the problem with the U.S. is that there is only one person putting money into chess. And of course, everyone is relying on that one person. They don't go out to try and find other sponsors um, who could support chess. It's, it's a very serious um, serious thing. Like if the U.S. did not have Rex Singfield supporting chess um, to the tune of many millions every single year, chess in the U.S. would be very far from where it is today is what I would say. So um, also $80,000 in India is an insane, insane amount of money, but it is important to note that when the players get this money, they are going to probably be hiring like European trainers who are much more expensive um, as well. So it's like it's yeah, it's different. We are also 34 trillion in debt. We have some serious financial issues. Thank you. Thank you for that uh, financial bit. But yeah, 80K in India is like literally a lot of money. Uh, didn't Rex pay 50K for Fabi and Levon to switch federations? I am not privy to those discussions. I don't know how much money was spent, but it is what it is. Thank you so much to Icebreak for the two. Thank you to Captain Nemo. Thank you to Magnus Carlson's Coke dealer for the 27 months. Appreciate it. So yeah, great stuff to see. Fantastic news. Obviously, we'll see how they perform. Um, but yeah, just incre incredible stuff. So